Hey folks, Dave here and I like knives here today to build an keychain pen. Fully functioning out of a single big round stick. Sorry for the awkward everything. I'm not exactly in my normal place. Uh, but the, what this is gonna end up being is a pin that you can put on your keychain. Not nearly as nice as something like a Fisher Space Pin, but functional, not very long lasting, but these are, what, a dollar for a thousand? I don't know how expensive things are. We are gonna need a knife and probably a set of clippers. So what we are going to do is measure out exactly how big we want it. Obviously you want the cap to cover the pin because the ring is going to, the keychain attachment is going to go on the cap. But you want to measure out exactly how far out you want to be able to grab it. Uh, and obviously understanding that the smaller and more compact that you make it, the less ink is going to be available. So do you want to pinch it? Which is kind of what I did on this one and then put another cap on the back. What I'm going to do is just make it very, very small. So what I'm going to do is score that right there so I know where I'm going. And score all the way around it. so that when I clip it, comes off nice and easy. Now to get this out, what am I going to do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something similar, because I want this cap out as well. That will help stem the ink flow. There we go. So now I gotta get that cap out. So we made a bit of a dog's lunch out of it, but we did finally get the end cap out. So now what we are going to do is trim the ink. And this is why having a workspace is so very, very important. We are going to snip you right there. And important to just a little bit of super glue, just to make sure nothing comes unbound, unless I need to open you up. Which is what I'm gonna do. There. Really does pay to do that beforehand. This isn't a super quick thing, but eh, it helps. This is as disposable as it gets. Try not to get any on you, which of course, I cannot avoid. And now put it down before it clings to you. So that's just gonna be on my hands for the next little while, no real bother. However, there we go. So let's pull out an index card and DLK. Wonderful handwriting, tiny little pen. I can't really set it down because there's super glue on the ground here. But that is a keychain pin. The next step, of course, is taking your cap, drilling a small hole in one side and then the other. I think I actually did do this one with the Leatherman Micro. And sliding it on right there. You now have a DIY keychain pin, which is very important because you should always have the ability to cut, light, and of course, write. So there you go. Obviously there are different options that you have with it. If I wanted to make this a little bit bigger in the hand, because of course this is pathetically tiny, I could of course super glue a cap on the back of this as was done here. And with the attachment point, several different options. Split ring here obviously with the little, uh, little tie right there. So like I said, it's not nearly a Fisher Space Pen or many of the more dedicated keychain pins because this thing has a tiny pathetic little uh, ink reserve. I did just cut it in a quarter after all. However, if a keychain pin is something that you need occasionally or you're willing to make several of these, absolutely a fine addition to anybody's EDC. 
If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions, let me know down, I guess, down below. And other than that, y'all have a great day. Bye.